Hi, this is Sheila with Stampin' Wishes and welcome to my studio. Um, the last film I did was making this unique box and I said I'd be back to make the uh, belly band for it. Remember this box here and how much fun it was. And this was the belly band I made for the first one. And so today we're going to be making one for this box. And so I um, didn't have any more of my 12 by 12 smoky slate left. So what I did was to take two of my uh, 11 and uh, eight and a half by 11. I scored it at four and a quarter. And so as you can see, it's just the right size for, you know, sliding over here. And where the seam is here, I figured that that's where I'm going to um, be on the side of it. And then we'll make our kind of um, what I call pinch and tuck score lines and then we'll enforce them. Uh, but then I decided I think what would be best would be to have panels. So I came in, I got my copper and look at this gorgeous new um, stamping and cut embossing. It's the Ornate Flower 3D folding uh, embossing folder. Now let me tell you, I have, uh, I got the bundle I just had to have it the whole suite and it was well worth every penny of it. I tell you if you can save up and get it, uh, do. It is one of the best um, stamp bundles I think we've had in a long time. The dies in it are just over the top. Uh, you can do so many different things with it. The stamp set itself is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, this embossing buddy, isn't that just beautiful? It goes so well with even these flower, flower, ah, flowering foils. I'll get it out. Uh, just look at the prints and stuff. It just kind of all blends in together. Whoever designed this really had it together. All right, so I, I had measured what I thought would be each panel uh, size, which is right in here. And I figured it, it to be about four, yep, about four and three eighths by the time we get the, the bends and everything. And I thought they would go on better as a band, uh, as a band like that. So what I'm going to do is line this up and do some of the, like I mentioned before, we'll kind of do the uh, pinch and score. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of do that pinching down. Then we're going to come over here and do the same thing. And I've messed with this box so much that it probably is starting to look a little bit worn and torn because I've played with it so much. But anyway, okay, and then I'm going to come in here and, and make it snug without making it too tight. And then come on around this side here. And again, it's going to come around and it's going to be a little bit too wide. But from this, I plan on tucking this over like so. And so what I'll end up doing so it doesn't give me so much bulk is I'll leave about a one inch or one half inch uh, connecting band there. Okay. So now I've gone in and let's go ahead and bring our trimmer back in and our score blade and let's bring this in and see if I come pretty close to that four and three eighths from what I did. So if we went one, two, three eighths, look right here, that's pretty close to it. So that's four and three eighths. Let's bring this one over to what four and three eighths is. That's one, two, three eighths, about there. And yep, it's just about there. And we're scoring that. And then we want to come over here and score that one. And then the last one here will score. And one of the reasons I had originally played around with one of the belly bands before I got on, and I had uh, used the copper all the way around as a strip, and it, that doesn't do real well scoring because it's having to, you know, bend and um, manipulate with this uh, box that I thought the panels would be so much easier to. Um, it here on and I think the whole box will fit because it won't be too bulky to go around I believe is what my th thoughts are and we'll see if that works out. Okay so here's the shorter piece right here of the two panels that's the one that'll be the inside and I wanted to leave about a half an inch to an inch there to uh, seal this together when we're ready. So I'm going to bring this in I'm going to line it up to the one inch line and I say one inch because I feel like it, it'll give it a little bit more sturdiness for all the sliding on and off that it could be doing. Okay, 
so this will be end up being our um, the front panel will be here well anyway you let's look at it this way okay uh, this will be like one of our side panels here this will be the back because we want that seam in the back so this will be the front side 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 so we'll just go ahead and place our panels on and uh, go from there so this is what I had in mind is we'll see if it works out I think it's going to I wanted to put one of these on each one of these panels and then the last one here okay and then I wanted some kind of a spacing in between that's why I made these three quarter inch by four and three eighths what I had in mind with that is that we would take and put a border on each side with a little bit of the smoky slate showing in between each of these panels here. So what I'll do is I have to apologize once again my uh, camera went on the blink right after I started laying out the panels but I think you can get the drift of from what I did record of the measurements laying it out and then uh, placing the belly band together and putting it around the box as you can see it really does add to um, the unique box so thank you and until next time have a blessed day and happy creating